Let's take a look at non-linear data structures. Trees are one of them. So trees is a collection of nodes which are arranged in an hierarchical order. Here we have one node which is referred to as the root node. And the remaining nodes, they are partitioned into disjoint sets. So this is one partition which is referred to a subtree of the root node and this is another partition which is again a subtree of the root node. So if you see this left subtree has nodes B, D, E, F, I and J and the right subtree has nodes C, G, H and K. B we can say is the left child node of root node A and C is the right child node of the root node A. The simplest form of a tree is a binary tree. Here we have a root node and we have the left subtree and the right subtree and both the subtrees are also binary trees. So each, uh, is, each node is going to have two children. So if we look at root node A, it has two children B and C. If we look at root node B, it has two children D and F. So each node is going to have a left subtree and a right subtree. As you can see, not all the nodes are having both children and we will look into more detail of all the different kinds of binary trees also. Each node over here would be containing a data element and a left pointer which will point to the left subtree and a right pointer which will point to the right subtree. So let's take an example if we are having root node A it will have a left pointer which will point to node B it will have a right pointer which will point to node C. Similarly, B will have its value, the value of node B, then a pointer to root node and a pointer to root node, a, uh, sorry, a pointer to node D which is the left node and a pointer to node F which is the right child. So root element is the top mode, topmost node and it is pointed to by the root pointer over here. If root is equal to null, that shows that the tree is empty. Another nonlinear data structure is, are the graphs. Again, as with trees, they are again a collection of nodes and edges that connect these vertices. So if we look and take an example of this graph, A, B, C, D, E, they are all nodes and they are connected to each other by vertices. In fact, these graphs are very widely used for most of the real life applications like social media platforms and these edges, they show the relationships between the different users who are enrolled or active on a particular platform. Graphs is actually a generalization of the tree structure. So what is the difference between a tree and a graph? In a tree, there is a pure parent to child relationship between nodes. But in a graph, any kind of complex relationship can exist. There is no parent child kind of relationship. In a tree, a node can have any number of children. So if this is a node, it can have any number of children but there will be only one parent. But in graph, there is no such restriction. If, if a node is having, is connected to, a, to its uh, child nodes, it can have some various other relationships with node B again. So tree has a root node. There is no root node in the graph. Every node in the graph can be connected with any other node. And when two nodes are connected via an edge, then these nodes are known as neighbors. Like B and C, 
they are connected via an edge so b and c are neighbors a and b are connected via an edge so a and b are neighbors but b and d they are not exact neighbors they are not connected via an edge but yes there definitely is existing a path from b to d but they are not neighbors we will look into these non linear data structures in more details in coming lectures